reference, it's just presentation I'll be talking about uh, activity carbon. In this uh, particular video, I'll be showing uh, activity carbon absorption of color. And uh, before I start, the what is activity carbon? Activity carbon is just a uh, uh, dark substance that is uh, uh, is dark. It has uh, it's cloudy. It has a uh, uh, large surface area. That is uh, activated carbon. Okay. Uh, activated carbon is uh, from uh, ca uh, activated carbon or activated charcoal. Uh, it's from uh, carbon origin and uh, can be made from many sources. Can be made from uh, coconut uh, shell, can be made from wood uh, and so on. Here with me I have uh, charcoal. Activated charcoal means uh, it has been activated. Chemically or thermally, well, thermally is, you use it to activate it. Chemically, it's the use of chemicals. What happens is this, this is uh, uh, charcoal, uh, it's made from wood, it is grounded into powder, then uh, it is then activated with chemicals. You use a base to activate, like sodium hydroxide, to activate it. You can also use um, Salt, calcium chloride to activate it, activate it. You can also use an acid to also activate it. Uh, phosphoric acid can also do that. H2SO4, uh, uh, tetrahydrocarbon acid can also do so. All right. So the materials I'll be using for this uh, presentation, I have the filter paper here, and I'll be showing you different processes. I'll be using this cut plastic bottle as uh, my filter to be able to accommodate for much quantity of water. All right. So. First of all, I would like to construct uh, my funnel. I have this is a filter paper. So, I place it here. I'll tie my rubber band. I'm going to tie it. Okay. I'm going to tie it up. Alright. So, it's ready. Okay. What I'm going to do next is to fill some water here. So I'm going to put some water there. I'm going to pour some water there. I'm going to fill this some amount of water. All right. That will be okay for this uh, particular experiment. I have put coloring here. Alright, so I'm going to measure some tiny quantity of food coloring. I'm not going to put everything. Okay. Just a little amount of it. As you can see, the water is okay, colored. I'll be able to color this water. I'll still add more to it. Okay. Alright, so you can see that uh, I've been able to color it. Okay. Let me shake it together so that uh, the color is even. Alright, having done that, I will put in it into the conical flask. I will start to the conical flask. Okay, first of all, I will pour in my activated carbon inside. I'll be pouring my activated carbon inside and uh, then I will be pouring the colored uh, solution into it. Alright, so I'll be pouring the colored solution into it. As you can see, show me. Alright, so. Okay, I'm 
there are leaves on the mount here so that we see the color that it was and the final result of this uh, process. So I'm going to allow it to flow down under gravity and see what is going to happen. Alright. Alright, so we're going to wait for some time and then uh, as it drips down gradually, uh, we should see a very, very clear solution to be able to absorb the colors. Uh, yes, uh, we still, I'm still waiting for the results and uh, uh, let me bring this to your notice. Uh, it's actually flowing gradually and uh, it has, uh, the color is still there, it has separated into two layers, it's dripping. Uh, is dripping gradually, but the liquid coming out of it is really, really, very, very clear and very, very pure. Okay, still dripping. All right, so I'll still leave it for some time, and uh, uh, I'll show you the results of this uh, particular experiment. Okay, thank you. As we wait, uh, because of time, so I'll, I'll be ending this uh, process, but we've gotten some little results to show that. Uh, Particular carbon can actually absorb colors. Uh, I'm going to transfer this uh, one thing with uh, particular carbon. You can see that even this uh, color is uh, absorbing, it's holding it, uh, still draining, and uh, it will actually take me some time. So I want to end this video. So I'm going to transfer it here. I'm going to transfer it here. And we've gotten some results here. So I'm going to compare the results we are having with results already here. So I have a test tube. I'm going to pour this. Okay. And for this, I'm going to pour this. So let me hold. When we compare the results, we can conclude that it did absorb it. Uh, this is the this is liquid after the absorption. Very, very clear. You can see it. It's very, very clear. Alright, thank you for watching. Um, I hope to see you in uh, another interesting video. Thank you.